Welcome back. Let's see, where did I leave off? Oh yeah. My creation was sitting on a table in the middle of the shop, surrounded by loads of crap. So you might be wondering, how is he going to get that thing outside? Well, let me tell you about my incredibly well thought out, highly refined, intricate, multi-step process that I've developed from years of experience building these things. If it's up too high to move, I get under it and wear it like a freaking turtle shell, which never results in more problems. And once it's on the ground, how does he get it outside, I hear you ask? Well, have a little patience and I'll tell ya! I just strap on some wheels and roll it outside. Or at least, that's what I would do if I were a normal human being with any amount of patience. But fortunately, for your viewing pleasure, I'm not. And instead, you get to watch me waddle around like a complete idiot while I bring this outside to the wrong spot and then have to move it again to more level ground. Next, I need to tie it down for testing because there's crop dusters. So if something goes wrong, since this guy can theoretically lift 500 pounds in order to make this not fly away, so I'm gonna use this 1,000 pound tensile strength paracord from Amazon to tie it down. I'm thinking that I'll have like, I'll tie it down on each uh, landing gear, one on each corner. Basically I have some holes that I drilled on each of those. I really don't think stakes are gonna do the trick uh, because I think it'll pull them right out of the ground, even if they're like big grounding rods. Since I need four mounting points, I'm gonna use the trailer for one of them. I'm gonna use the truck for another one because my wife doesn't care about either of these. Uh, she wouldn't let me use her car or my car that we use to commute to work. So um, I got a trailer, got a truck, which only works in first gear because the transmission blew up. And I have these refrigerators that have been here since we bought the property. And um, yeah, they were all broken and I've been saving them for a purpose like this. Connect the battery. And we'll put some starter fluid in there. Give it a little gas. That looks delicious. There we go. Maybe I'll get some of this crap out of the way. Good enough. That'll work. Let's load her up. Ugh. Sweet. Stupid door. Okay, we got all the batteries in. Turning on the remote. And now for the first arming test. Beautiful, all spinning. Arming and I'll give it some throttle. I'm a little nervous. Jeez. 
Ah, crap. These things took forever to print. So I know it looks like I have stupid slow reflexes, but that's just because I do. But actually, the reason I ducked was not to avoid getting hit by the plastic shrapnel. I noticed that one of the motors was shaking pretty violently, and it looked like it was about to start throwing metal parts at me. This one shook itself loose. That one's very loose. Okay, let's check out the aftermath. That one's destroyed, destroyed, obliterated. Let's see where all the shrapnel went. It's all over the place. Um, there's a ton of shrapnel all over there. Wow, that must have hit, uh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That's freaking scary. That's heart level right there. That's where my heart is. It crumbled and it looks like, like a crumbled soap bar or something. What do you think, Skyler? I'm more impressed with how far that one went over there. Yeah, I know. That's maybe not more. Pretty far. So why did this happen? Well, my propellers were 3D printed, so I'm guessing that one exploded for some reason, setting off a chain reaction that hit the other props. But I've actually had successful flights with these same propellers in the past. In fact, I have a video from three years ago when I originally built a different design in the living room of my condo and did some test flights in my parents' garage since I didn't have one. So, now what? I don't know what to do anymore. It was a lot of work to make all those propellers and I don't really feel like doing anything. So, I'm gonna go to bed. And while I was sleeping, an old friend paid me a visit. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not gonna stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Shia LaBeouf? How'd you even get in here? Just... do it! It's been about two and a half weeks since the last flight, or attempt at flying. Um, and so the grass has grown a little bit. I just left all the stuff here so that uh, I wouldn't have to, to remark anything, but you can see how high up the grass is on the refrigerator here. I'm really curious to see what it looks like underneath. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dead. I'm curious how the grass looks under this one. Ah, this one's heavier. I forgot. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good too. Is your grass too green? We can fix that. Just call Dronesmith Lawn Services. We'll turn any lush green lawn into a brown wasteland. That's the Dronesmith guarantee. Okay, I'm starting out with a motor test and this is literally the first time that I am trying out these new propellers with these motors. So I have no idea how this is going to go. All right. Testing motor A at 10% throttle, with, which is 50% of that because I'm running a 6S system. So it's actually 5% throttle.
That's the right direction. Motor B. Motor C. Oh, geez. That's not great. E. A little wobbly. G. Okay, all the motors were spinning in the right direction, um, but I'm not super confident because uh, they looked pretty wobbly. So I'm just going to arm it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, first arming test. It might be a quick one, depending on if it looks shaky. I'm a little nervous. Okay, I'm more than a little nervous. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that looked amazing. Way better than I expected. Sometimes I just need enough throttle so they're not shaky. All right, well, I guess it's now or never. I'll give it some throttle. <sighs> Arming in three, two, one. Yeah, baby. That was like maybe 10% throttle. I'm so excited. That was so much thrust. So I recentered it and we'll give it another go. Yeah, it definitely needs a little tuning. Probably not ready for me to hop on that thing. I literally can't believe that worked as well as it did. Um, I I gave it like altogether like five percent throttle, so it has so much freaking raw power. Um, yeah, I guess the next test is uh, after I get it dialed in a little bit with the tuning, um, we'll throw some weight on there and see if it can lift my equivalent in weight.